Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to create a bootable USB flash drive and then all you need to do is copy your image file over to that flash drive uh, to have a boot option for it. So that way you just have to create the disk once or the you know flash drive once and then you could uh, just use it over and over again with different image files. You know, similar to Rufus except for Rufus you have to pick your let's say ISO file and then have it create that flash drive using that ISO file where this one you just drag and drop whatever you want and you could have multiple images on the flash drive and boot to any one of them. So here's what it supports right here. And also, also some options here. So once you download the program, it's just a zip file, you extract it, then you just run the executable right here. Then you need to pick your flash drive here. So make sure you pick the right one because it's going to want to format it so you don't want to lose any information. Then you just need to click on install. And depending if you've used this uh, tool on the flash drive or not, you might get this box here where you have to type in yes. Otherwise you might get a different warning saying it's going to wipe out everything. Like this. Okay, so now it's created the uh, flash drive with the software on it. And it's called Ventoy. So this is a 30 gig flash drive. So now I'm going to copy a CloneZilla bootable disk and a Windows 11 ISO file over to it. Okay, so now we have our two files copied over. So we'll go ahead and reboot the computer and boot to the uh, flash drive. And then we'll see what happens. So obviously you're going to have to set your boot settings to uh, boot from the USB flash drive. Okay, so now you can see we uh, booted to the uh, USB flash drive. It has the Ventoy splash screen here. And now we have option for the CloneZilla and the Windows 11 ISO file that we installed or actually copied over to the flash drive. So we could pick either one. So let's say we pick CloneZilla. And then we could boot in normal mode or whatever mode we want to do to start the process here. Like so. So if we reboot again, so now we're back in our Ventoy screen if we want to do the Windows 11 ISO file. And now we have our Windows 11 setup screen, which you could go through, you know, and do the Windows installation if that's your goal. So pretty much as many image files as you could fit on your flash drive, that's how many boot options you will have uh, from the Ventoy screen once you uh, configure your disk and then add your image files to it and then you know, obviously change your boot options to boot from a uh, USB. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download this uh, tool. It's free and then you could uh, create your own bootable flash drives. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.